Morning, it's the start of week two. If you've seen my last vlog, you know what our weight is. We're just about to go on the skills and check it, so we don't know yet. But you'll know, because you'll have watched the first week, haven't you? <laughs> Please go watch the first week first. Nice! So, as you've seen from our weight the last time, for the first time ever in history, I have lost the most by point one. <laughs> How do you feel? Come on. Uh, Explain why I've lost more this time. So, essentially the reason that Abby's lost more is in the past we've done, uh, for myself, 2,000 calories and for Abby, 1,600 calories. Now, that in the past has been equivalently more of a deficit for me. Um, you know, for instance, let's say that my maintenance was uh, 2,400, right? That would be me and minus 400 calories every week whereas for instance if abby's maintenance was 1800 she would only be in a minus 200 uh, calorie deficit so what this essentially means is that abby's maintenance calories have went up and the reason that abby's maintenance calories have went up is because essentially she's added more muscle mass to her frame and it means that it's more calorically expensive um, basically for Abby to be alive. Which makes sense because that was like the heaviest I've ever started a cut. Like yeah. last year I was only on 64 kilograms so the fact that I started this cut on 70 yeah, was that, like a huge... Yeah, so that's another, that's another factor that does come into play is that where you're starting from, the equivalent um, distance to your set weight, if it's further, um, let's say your natural kind of set weight for you is like 62 kilos, um, it then means that the further away you are from your natural set weight, the easier it is in the beginning stages to get down towards your natural set weight because your body wants to get there. Whereas as it goes on, it gets it gets harder. So because yeah. we're at our highest weight at the moment, this will be the easiest time for us to lose weight. Okay, so breakfast is the same but different. So we got these protein bagel things from Aldi. Um, they are they do it by two servings, and I don't like that because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be having two bagels in the morning. Um, they're vegan, they're freezable, um, but they're high in protein, and it's not so fifteen grams per serving is two. So that's for two of these. But I'm not going to lie, when you're paying this much for four bagels, you're not going to eat two at a time. So, well, we technically are, because there's two of us. But we're going to have one bagel each, because... I'm not going to eat the entire pack. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, let's go. Okay, so we've got the bacon on. The bagels have just popped. Now we're on to the eggs. So, as you can see, there's three plates. Have you ever known a more pampered pooch? No, because Harvey gets cheesy eggs for his breakfast. So yeah, what? <laughs> to be fair, breakfast, he has to take his medication, so that's why we give him, like, the eggs. So breakfast is usual breakfast, but with the protein bagels, so got ketchup, we've got black coffee and I've got a creatine juice. So yeah, we are on our last ever episode of Buffy. So sad, but we did it. So today for lunch, we're having a salad. Not because we're like, you're on a diet, eat salad. It's because we generally want a salad and we have to use up all these salad things because we're away for a couple of days. And if we don't eat them, they'll go off and we don't want to waste food. Um, we are going to be using chicken for the salad. So we are having lettuce, um, tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, and we have cooked chicken in the fridge. Um, I'm just going to tumble this all together and then we'll show you the end. So as you can see, this is the end result. And doesn't that look delicious? And as you can see as well, these Tupperwares are actually pretty big. I mean, this is like the toaster here. 
and that is about, you know, and kind of lengthwise, it's the size of the toaster. Um, so you get a lot of volume in this. There's a lot of eating to be had, lots of vegetables, lots of fibre. We're really just kind of filling up the space in our stomachs and it's going to leave us satiated and keep the hunger at bay for a lot longer on some fairly low calories. Okay, first workout of the week finished. None of us can breathe because our cardio is absolutely yeah. appalling. No. And that's that's probably the hardest part with these workouts. It's not that we're not strong enough, it's that we don't have I the cardio to sustain it. Genuinely. But that's what's good about this because we will eventually come back to this and hopefully we'll be able to do it heavier yeah. and gonna, be able to breathe. And we're going to be adding uh, more sets, more reps and just hopefully volumizing over this time period so that we can get incrementally harder and see those yeah. kind of benefits compound for us and i'm joining looks class again tonight so i'll be doing the cardio part to try and help out with that I've, i think that's also another reason why i've lost so much weight as well this time around because i'm doing so much cardio because yeah. i'm doing all of your classes and like three classes a week on top of our workouts i know i could never see somebody ask me to train today i would tell them to get to so honestly, well done for that. I'm, That's de a lot. I'm determined. <laughs> okay, so dinner is a chicken mashup with some rigatoni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what Luke put in it, but there's spinach in there, there's tomatoes, and um, there's seasons. Um, I've not had it yet, but he says it's really nice. <laughs> um, but we just Tupperware some away for Luke for during the week if he can't be bothered cooking when he gets home from work late. Okay, so for supper, we're having some crunchy nut cereal, Aldi's own brand. I've got almond milk. Um, we're going to have some of these Axolotl Haribos. So four of them is a serving. So we're going to have four each. And then, where's my new bar? I'm going to have this mini normal bar. Um, as you can see, it's late at night. So we'll not be eating anything else after this. Not, like, there's nothing that I want. Um, but that is like me on 1,300 calories today and I hit my protein so yeah it is Tuesday morning we are having a bacon bagel um, I'm not sure if we're having coffee or not I think we were trying to make it iced coffee but there's no ice um, but this is sugar free syrup back at it again being the worst vlogger in the world um, we did have bagels with like chicken um, now we got protein crispies um, and iced coffee. I think the problem is, is we're so hungry and stuff like that when we do get to eat, so we just like eat it instantly. I feel like Sally Geese. We're editing week one just now. You'll already have seen that. I promise I'll do better. So we were just live doing sprints on Leandra's channel. It was the best time. Um, I am having cheese. As my last meal today, I have my two liters of water. The issue is, is I've still got like 600 calories, but I'm really not hungry. I've hit my protein, 105 grams. I'm so tired, so I'll make up for it tomorrow. It is Wednesday morning now. Um, I don't know, it's a lot colder today. Um, the weather has turned for the worse. Um, I'm just gonna have the same usual breakfast. I need to charge the content phone because I've got a busy day today. So today I am... Um, I'm doing my first runway catwalk in a while. I've not done a runway since I was 16. Um, so yeah, I I don't know, I'm quite nervous. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch some uh, videos to see if I can... See if I can remember. All my skills, obviously I'll be fine. I know I'll be fine, but I'm just nervous because it's been a while. very happy because my calories were so low yesterday but my protein was so high I get a donut today and I mean I'm not like I've not decided that it's just there's donuts here they are dairy-free donuts and I can have them because it fits the calories and I will be putting it in my calories today 
Okay, so that is me home. You'll have seen the vlog. Um, but, and you might not have seen the vlog, actually. We've got a vlog coming up of the whole event. It was so much fun. I miss doing runways. I miss doing catwalks. So I'm going to see about that. That's fun. Uh, I'm really glad that I had the donut because I've not been able to have my lunch yet. And it's now, like, what, half six at night. So I've got my, my tuna meal pitta. So I'm going to eat that just now. But... I looked up the calories for the Greg's donut and it was only 200 odd. So I won't, I don't even think I'll go over my calories day. Not by choice, but like just, I just don't think I will. Um, obviously, I'm not trying to go over my calories and I'm not trying to be under my calories. Um, I'm just kind of keeping track and making sure that it evens out. I do need to at least one day this week eat over my calories to make up for the fact that yesterday I was so below my calories. I was like 1,100 yesterday. So yeah. Okay, so it is now Thursday. As you've seen yesterday, we went a bit mad um, with all the cakes and donuts and things. However, it's gonna work out in the end, so I'm not worried about it because the Tuesday, I was so under, like I was far too under, but I still managed to hit my protein. Um, and then yesterday I managed to hit my protein and I was only like a hundred odd calories over. So my average is still really low. Um, so today we're just back on track because that's what you do. You're just, you don't let one day define you. You just keep moving, keep going. Um, I sadly missed the looks class last night. Um, I finished around six and looks class starts at six, so I missed it. Um, did do my gym session, um, just forgot to record any of it because I was like, let's go. However, today I will be joining this class. I'll be giving him my absolute all and we'll be back to it really. Um, tuna pasta for lunch today. We just had the usual bagel breakfast. You're sick of seeing it. Um, yeah, so we're back on track. I'm just going to have some leftovers from last week's um, spaghetti bolognese we made. Um, so we've got leftovers that we had in the freezer. So I've left those out to defrost. And that's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So yeah, back on track. So we've got Luke's class. I'm super buzzing. Um, get some cardio in, some high knees. That'll be fun. <laughs> Also guys, we're working in collaboration with Temple T. So you can use my code here to get 10% off your own Temple T. It is healthy bubble tea. <laughs> Big shout out to Luke's sister Millie who came and picked him up from work so I didn't need to drop him home before coming home which meant I had time to get changed and ready for my job interview. It's on Zoom, I'm so excited. I need to calm myself down. I've got myself a wee cup of tea and I've got my juice, got my candle on. I need to be a bit more zen. Um, so yeah, hopefully fingers crossed guys. I would really like this job. It would be a good job. It would be something totally up my alley so we will see, I've literally got like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna calm myself down and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, interview done. We will see, we will see. Leftovers are literally giving me life. Um, anything that's left over or if we buy enough, we make we boxes to put in the freezer just for nights like this where we have to just grab and pack in the microwave. So leftovers from last week. Okay, this morning I had my usual breakfast. I am on sprints. I've got my water or my juice or whatever you want to call it. Wayne and Kirsty coming. We're going to have a coffee. I'm going to have black corn. I'm going to make her latte. It's going to be a fun time. I'm watching some NCIS Hawaii. It is just a mess around here. <laughs> but this is what we've got going for us this morning, this lovely Friday. Okay, so we have finished the live stream and this is lunch. This is 30 grams of cheese and six slices of ham in a bit of bread. Um, I've got looks as well. So we're sorted for lunch and we've got our creatine. Okay, we've just finished up at the gym. We're heading to go 
I've got a rehearsal for singing. Uh, how was your lunch? Did you enjoy your lunch? Lunch was amazing. We've been very really different. Good. I really liked that with the pita bread. I had some pita bread. It was lovely. Yeah. So we're off. Okay, so I forgot dinner, but we just had the cauliflower rice with um, chicken and I made my own curry sauce. We've now got hot chocolate with whipped cream marshmallows, which I weighed everything. So I weighed the cocoa powder. Um, we just used hot boiling water in our hot chocolate. So that's just that. Then 20 grams of whipped cream. Then two marshmallows, which is 10 grams. And then I've got my cereal. And because this cereal is so like lightweight, this is um, 38 grams. So that's like a lot. And it is almond milk. So it's lowering calorie. And we're just watching snowfall. We also had a protein um, raspberry mojito drink, um, which gave us a bit more protein. So I'm really good for protein, see? And I've actually got calories left over. Isn't that fun? We actually have a wee busy weekend. We have an engagement party tomorrow night and we have an event on Sunday night. Yes, we're still on the cut. No, we're not just um, dropping everything and just like pretending it's not happening. We are still going to be on our calories. Um, we're still going to be hitting our protein. We're just going to be making some adjustments. And... I've been quite low all week, not intentionally, like I've generally not been doing it intentionally. So I, I need to eat maybe like a hundred more calories tomorrow than I have done. But we'll kind of see what happens. Um, I'm working also tomorrow, so that's a bit of a change. Um, but you'll see that all in the next clip, so there's no point boring you with the details. Just watch on to see what happens. So breakfast is just the usual. Um, we've got the sriracha, I love them, we've got the sriracha back. We are going to have pittas for lunch um, with tuna just because they're easy to make, quick to make, we've got a busy day. Just need to make them, put them in a tub or take them with us. Okay, so this is your reminder to weigh everything, so I've cut my pittas open. I like to actually use the jar of mayonnaise because it's easier to control because you can literally use a spoon and like slowly add it. Whereas I feel like when you use a squeezy bottle, sometimes it just goes on its own and it just like goes it heavy and gives you far too much. So I like to use a teaspoon and actually 25 grams isn't a lot. Wait, I'll show you. So there we are. That is exactly 25 grams of mayonnaise and that really isn't a lot. And there we go. That is the pitta stuff with the tuna. Now I'm going to make looks and then just pop it on top. Also, shout out to my vegan. These crispies are absolutely delightful. They are 99 calories and 11 grams of protein and they taste so good. Okay, so this is my wee get ready pad. This is my chur. Um, I've got my creatine, so I need to drink that. But yeah, this is where it all happens. For dinner, I made us pizzas out of wraps. I think... Where I went wrong is I thought I would have to heat the wrap up before putting the toppings on because I didn't want the wrap to be soggy, but I think I just made it too burnt. I'm not even going to show you Luke's nice crispy burnt pizza because <laughs> it looks terrible. But yeah, we're just going to slice this up and it's under 550 calories. So maybe it looks as a wee bit more because he has more cheese and stuff like that. And me and Luke are off to the engagement party. This is my outfit. I'm driving, so I'm wearing my trainers. This is Luke's lovely <laughs> outfit. He always looks skinnier when he gets his hair cut and his beard trimmed. Know, so totally he's not he's, not he's not just like totally wearing zero kilos. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm driving, so I won't be having a drink, obviously. But that's okay. I'll just get some Diet Coke. <laughs> Hello. Doing shots on the car <laughs> because it backs the car.
And just like that is Sunday. We have everything packed again. We're going to the studio to get pictures. Um, Luke's got clients early, um, so it's early. <laughs> Um, and I forgot to bring the bikini for the before and after pictures, so I suck. So I'm having to make do with whatever I've got. So don't hate me. Don't hate the game. Oh, don't hate the player, hate the game, is that it? <laughs> is that... I feel like not in this context, that's not the same. <laughs> it is the same. But there you go. That is, that is the... <laughs> Okay, so as you've seen, it was my friend's parents' anniversary, so we did a big thing in the church for them. So we did have, um, we've brought all this cake home. Uh, there's chocolate cake, vanilla cake, we've ate the vanilla cake, so I, we, I brought it home so that we could weigh it. So I had 41 grams of Victoria sponge, and I did put it in with my calories, so I'm still calorie counting, but I'm still enjoying my time. With my friends, we're going out tonight, so dinner is being made. Okay, so we weigh absolutely everything, especially things like this, because it's an oil, so it is going to be higher calorie. Um, however, we are splitting the dinner into four, which means I can just evenly log a quarter of whatever the number is. So we're just making a wee spicy mince tonight. Um, I hate 750 grams of mince because I think it's so stupid. I think all mince should be... 500 or a kilogram and that's a fact another good thing about making your own sauces at home means you know exactly what's in them which means you can balance it to however much you need and to your taste as well um whereas a lot of like store-bought sauces have loads of added extras that you just wouldn't put in do you know what i mean so this is our dinner spicy mince um, after this we're going to get ready because we're going out again tonight, we have an event, I will be filming the event for a separate video so you'll only see snippets aka what we're drinking. And just like that another week is over, this ending will be shorter than the last one just because we don't really need to wrap it up as much. So my average calories for the week was 1316, obviously this is too low, this is not where I want to be. So in week three, I need to be thinking about that and managing my calories a wee bit better, making sure I'm getting enough food because not getting enough food could have also led to the detriment of my scale weight. <laughs> um, my average protein is 122 grams, which is considerably really good considering how low the calories are because last week on 1,500 odd, it was one that... 124 grams of protein so just thinking about that kind of thing so the protein doesn't need improvement just i need to be making sure that even if i'm not hungry just kind of getting some extra calories in there so maybe adding like some like juice calories and um, because i've been really wary on what i've been drinking as well um so my scale weight so i stepped on the scales monday morning and I was heavier than I was last week. So I have, I, not by much to be fair, I've put on like 0 0.3 kilograms. So it's absolutely minute, it's nothing. And um, I'm glad that I'm doing these weekly vlogs so you can see it does fluctuate because I know that past me would look at that weight and go, oh my goodness, I've put on weight now, I need to starve myself. Um, or I'd be like, oh my goodness, I put on weight, that's it, I can never lose weight. I'm just one of those people and I would just like be like that. And I know that other people would be like that as well. So I am glad that I'm recording every single week so you can see the ups, the downs, the everything. Um, another reason why my weight might have went up is because 
I have religiously been taking creatine for two whole weeks now, so the water retention thing we spoke about in week one is probably happening. Um, especially considering it's the tiniest amount of weight I've went up, so we just need to keep pushing. But this is where I show you my week one and my week end of week two in pictures. Here we are, and if we zoom in to the side and we look at my tummy. My tummy has definitely went down. So, even though we've put on weight, we've definitely lost fat this week because even from week two, um, from the beginning of week two to the end of week two, my tummy has went down. So we are losing fat, so it is still happening. So you need to look at the small things. This is why scale weight isn't always the answer. This is why I don't really have a goal scale weight because my goal body which was like how I looked at the end of the cut last year slash even better than that might be heavier than last year's so it's all perspective it's all that sort of thing you need to look at the tiny tiny things and the tiny wins to be honest the fact that I'm drinking two liters of water every day is unknown for me like even finishing one litre of water a day is unknown for me. So it's a healthy lifestyle change that I'm going to have to keep up even after the cut. So if you like this, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button because it really helps my channel. Also, send me some love in the comments. Let's see, have you ever experienced this where you've looked better but your weight's been higher? Let me know everything. Also, make sure that you subscribe and become part of this lifestyle and bookish channel. We love having you here. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And yeah, we'll keep on fighting. Get the notification bell on so you don't miss a single video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.